Good morning and thanks for coming out on a Monday. We wanted to make an announcement that we think is really exciting for our community. Before we make the announcement, we'll go back in time just a little bit. When we came into office in 2012, our city was known for a lot of things. And unfortunately, one of the things we were known for is having more meth labs in our city than any other city in the state of Indiana. In 2012, we had 114 meth labs. So shortly after coming into office, we formed the Mayor's No Meth Task Force. And that task force really set out to raise public awareness with a specific goal of reducing the number of meth labs in our community. And I'm happy to say that we've been successful at that. Last year, we had 36 meth labs. Uh, while we've seen a big, dramatic decrease in the number of meth labs, uh, there's just been a shift in drug use. There's still a lot of meth use, a lot of meth arrests, but fortunately, fewer meth labs. So with this change in uh, substance abuse trends, we decided sh to change the name of the Mayor's No Meth Task for Force to the Mayor's Substance Abuse Task Force, uh, basically in recognition that trends do change. And we wanted our committee, made up of 20 professionals throughout the uh, community, uh, to really be more nimble in providing services uh, and education to the community. So we have three basic goals of the Mayor's Substance Abuse Task Force to help uh, reinforce to the community that there is, in fact, a problem of substance abuse here. Uh, secondly, to promote prevention strategies throughout the community. And lastly, to help people to identify and access uh, treatment and recovery options in our community. As I said, we have a number of uh, people, 20 some odd professionals around the community that come and meet on a regular basis to help us with this effort. Uh, the person who has really chaired this effort for uh, our community for the last uh, five and a half years is Dr. Bill Wooten. Uh, Bill is a retired medical doctor and uh, addiction services director at Welburn Hospital. Has um, arguably, he is arguably the, the city's greatest expert in, in substance abuse. He's chaired that. So he's going to talk a little more about the direction of the substance abuse task force, talk about an exciting program that the task force has coordinated for October, and then lastly we'll hear uh, about a new exciting website that we think is going to be a really great resource for the community. So with that, I introduce uh, Dr. Bill Wood. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor, and welcome everyone. Uh, as the Mayor mentioned, the Substance Abuse Task Force and also a planning subcommittee of the task force have been meeting for a number of months to uh, retool our efforts. Uh, broaden the scope of what we're doing and, and uh, decide on a different focus. Uh, I want to first express my appreciation to everyone who's been involved in this effort. And our products thus far, though it's just a starting point, are the results of a lot of work and time and talent uh, that have been brought to the table here for the benefit of our community. Representatives from the Evansville Police Department, Evansville Fire Department, USI, St. Vincent Hospital, Deaconess Cross Point, Brentwood Springs, Southwestern Indiana Behavioral Health, United Neighborhood Association, Youth First, the Vanderburg County Health Department, and individuals like Andrea Phillips, who is a life coach and a mother of a, a young man with addiction, uh, Jenny Combs, who's formerly with uh, the Department of Children's Services, myself, uh, the mayor's staff, and last but not least, Amy Back, who's been an event coordinator uh, for the past few months to help us with our first project. Uh, to find solutions to any problem such as substance abuse, uh, we first must define the problem and understand it as best we can. Then we need to decide on a mission, create goals and strategies that we think might work, find the resources, execute the plan, and then evaluate, refine, and sustain it. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of work to be done, and there's a lot of work being done around the community in a variety of different venues and settings. Uh, and it's time for our community to really step up its game uh, in a lot of different ways uh, and at several different levels. Individual levels, family levels, school, employer, and community levels. Uh, Neighborhoods need to be involved as well. Uh, it's also time for us to destigmatize substance use disorders. 10% of people with substance use disorders get the help they need. 
the other 90% uh, have to find their way on their own, die of the disorder, or end up oftentimes incarcerated. This is a problem that costs a lot more not to deal with it. Uh, so we're, we're going to save the community uh, millions of dollars if we can find an effective way to deal, of, deal with it in a comprehensive manner. Um, <clears throat> I want to also emphasize that substance use disorders, it's an illness. It's not a, uh, a choice. It's not a, a moral failure on the part of the individuals who have these problems. Uh, we need to bring this uh, problem out of the closet and more into the public eye and make it easy for people to get the help they need. Uh, along with interdiction and policies to decrease the supply, we must have a plan that includes demand reduction. Uh, we need to deal with the root causes and make treatment more accessible. Uh, the focus of our efforts uh, needs to be a lot broader than just opiates and heroin addiction. Uh, we need to deal with alcohol, tobacco, and all of the other drugs. Uh, and this task force, as the mayor mentioned, intends to engage the Evansville community in working together to promote substance abuse awareness, education, prevention, and treatment. He mentioned our goals, and we'll uh, seek a number of ways to support and promote development of effective, sustainable solutions to substance abuse at the individual, family, organizational, and community level. First, defining the problem. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, how big is it in Evansville? What does it look like in Evansville and Vatterberg County? Uh, and I say that just as a teaser because we don't have the answers to those questions. Uh, our task force is making an effort to collect and track reliable data from hospitals, emergency rooms, law enforcement, addiction treatment providers, uh, the coroner's office, Department of Children's Services, and other sources of data that would be an indirect reflection of what's going on in our community. Over time, we hope that this data will allow us to quantify the prevalence of various types of substance abuse, identify trends, and develop strategies to intervene early. Um, and this is a work in progress. It's not in a uh, usable format to be shared with you today, but maybe at another, another time. Secondly, we created a website, which Dr. Uh, Melowitz will share with you in a few minutes. And then third, our initial effort with community support and information is going to be a conference in October. Uh, October 10th, 11th, and 12th, we'll be bringing uh, Dr. Robert Myers, a psychology professor and an internationally known speaker from the University of New Mexico. Uh, Dr. Uh, Myers will do a two and a half day training for behavioral health providers uh, to teach them a method of intervention called CRAFT, which stands for Community Reinforcement and Family Training. Uh, Dr. Myers has been in the addiction field for 39 years and with and with 20 of those, 23 of those years, were at the, he was at the University of New Mexico. He is currently the director of the Robert J. Myers and Associates, a, uh, and a research associate professor, professor emeritus in psychology at the university. Uh, Dr. Myers will train up to 40 behavioral health professionals in the craft intervention method. Uh, we currently have 31. Uh, professionals registered for that training program in October, and we only have a capacity of 40. So if you're listening to this message on the media today, uh, go to the website, uh, call in or get signed, and get signed up. Um, on the 12th and 13th of October, during the time that he's here, Dr. Myers will also conduct two public sessions. Uh, He'll be covering information about the craft intervention and also uh, uh, be open to questions from members of the general public who could come to these two sessions. One will be an evening session on the uh, 12th and a morning session on the 13th. Uh, further details of those will be available on our website. With that, I'll turn it over to Dr. Chad Melowitz, who will share with you a little bit about our website, uh, which we think is going to be a great community tool. 
find out on it. Ah. That's okay. The website that the task force has worked to put together we, has been done in a, a collaborative effort with organizations, members across the community that are a part of the task force. And the website is msatf.org. So it's for Mayor's Substance Abuse Task Force. And the purpose of this website is really to support the, uh, uh, the vitality of the community. What we want to do is bring out to the community all of the resources, all of the programming that's ongoing and available here to address knowledge and awareness of addiction, to help treat uh, substance, abu substance use disorders, and to help support recovery. So the, desi uh, the design of the website really brings the community focus first. It will have information available that you could access from the state or national level, but you're going to find a lot of helpful uh, information from the community promoted as well. So with that in mind, um, the main things that we'll, we will be promoting are events that are going to be held locally. We start with the events that were just discussed coming up in October with Dr. Myers coming into Evansville, bringing a world-renowned speaker in to talk about ways to get loved ones to seek treatment. And this is the first event that we have. If you come to the events page on the website, we'll continue to update not just the events that we as a task force are bringing to the city and are promoting, but also events that are coming from other community partners. You've heard in the discussion up to now, the goal is to engage the community. The website is just another way that we're doing that and makes that a reality and something tangible for people. So on our events page, we'll be promoting not just our own events, but we see the Lifesavers Walk, Race for Recovery. We have a Hidden in Plain View event to help parents understanding uh, and identify perhaps substance use in their homes. And all these events are held by members across the community and we're going to help promote these and others on an ongoing basis. In addition to events that are held and one-time programs, we'll also continue to keep links to these events so you can view videos or information. If you can't come in person, you can go back to the website and check out other resources to help you understand what the event was about so that you can still get some impact from it and some use from it. We also have the basic pillars of our goals are, again, <clears throat> education and removing the stigma around addiction, addiction and substance use, use disorders. We have prevention strategies that we want to promote and bring out. We also have treatment and recovery options. So each of these pages on the website will help you with knowledge, prevention, treatment, and recovery. Every page is going to highlight first and foremost resources, videos, uh, documents that are available here locally provided by the community for the community. You can access these um, throughout each page. You can also find contact information to local resources. So if you or you know someone in town that's looking for more information on speakers on the knowledge page, we have contact information of local speakers. If you or someone you love is looking for treatment options, um, looking for other help with substance use or with behavioral uh, issues. We have the connections to local resources here that you can access. You'll also find, as I said, resources that are national or uh, state level resources as well as we've tried to organize it if you're a parent, if you are a, a student, if you are a community looking for help, that we have the right information for you. So we'll continue to update this uh, website as time goes by. This will be one of the projects being held by the task force. Um, and I hope that everyone will take some time to go out and visit the website. Share it on your Facebook sites. If you are in this area, uh, it's msatf.org. You can search for it online. You can also go directly to the website. Um, and we hope that our community partners will again help us promote this. We do also have a Facebook group that you can look for the Mayor's Substance Abuse Task Force on Facebook. We'll have event pages for the two events coming up uh, in October. So we encourage you to follow along those and share those with other members of the community as well. So, uh, Mayor, that may have taken up too much time. I'll step aside. <laughs> they don't go on until 4 o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the radio, guys. Uh, <clears throat> questions? From here. You did such a wonderful job, Chris. <laughs> I might add uh, that these two books are authored by Dr. Myers. 
Uh, one is for the general public on how to get your loved one clean and sober. And the other is a uh, manual for professionals on motivating substance users into treatment. And both of these subjects will be topics of his conference and his public sessions in October. Any questions about craft? I could add that um, for the public event that we're hosting in October, the two events that are going to be held for the public that are going to be free thanks to generous support of local uh, organizations, it's the first 50 to each event will receive a free book of the Get Your Loved One uh, Clean and Sober, the book by Dr. Kraft. So Dr. Myers. Dr. Myers. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the first time I've made that mistake. Thank you very much, Lynn. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.